what's good fam welcome back to another market close update as you all know it's the last day of the second quarter so let's go through some of the stocks in my watch list today Alrighty, last day of the second quarter let's start with amc as it's the first in my watch list let's get it going fam where is it at today currently at 56 dollars and 22 cents nothing crazy hedge funds gonna be a little crazy about it and looking at workhorse currently at 1647 4% down and has been trading with a slight downtrend i would say the lower lows at the bottom here it's all right nothing crazy not a huge amount of volume today look at the one minute chart real quick anything happening right now the green candle is currently a little smaller getting red here yep than the previous one anyway added a new stock sofi tech did it today a small green candle forming here Currently at $19.11 with a positive 1% change. All right, NVIDIA is just trading sideways uh, with a normal RSI. I mean, I suppose it was overbought in the morning. The volume's pretty decent. Moving sideways, no specific trend to it apparently. Currently at 802, eight a very minor change in percentage for the day. Comparing NVIDIA side by side with amd has a good uptrend to it currently at 94 dollars with a five percent on the day that's pretty good actually like where is it coming from amd why not nvidia look at that volume during the last hours or so anyway moving forward apple apple doing all right moving sideways with a small uptrend i see with higher highs all right Apple, nothing crazy with Apple, not a big amount of, you know, volume in the closing market. Probably early in this morning as usual, some big amount. Virgin Galactic, fam, this took a hit, I suppose. It's almost 3% down, a little less than 3% at $45. I mean, I don't see a point Virgin Galactic running up just because it got uh, an FA approval. I mean, they're not yet taking customers to space. So I don't see it running up. They're not making any revenues as of yet. It's just something which was certified to them, but nothing has yet happened to it. Let's see, probably once it starts to take customers to the space, then the run up is worth it. I had a feeling that it might come down because it's just an approval, nothing crazy about it. Palantir Technologies, a percentage, exact percentage down today at $26.36. What's wrong with it? No news on Palantir. Charging point as well, to almost 2.5% at $34.83. Canoe, Canoe had this big buy. I suppose this was during the midday at around 1.30. Went up all the way to $10, tried to hit the resistance, but couldn't break it. Churchill Capital, I'm actually shocked on this. It's just doing pretty good on the day. It's almost 9% up. As I mentioned, they had this, uh, Ticker change from CCIV to LCID, I suppose. Uh, let's just check it up real quick. CCIV, ID, something of that sort. Lucid Motors has announced that once the SPAC merger with Churchill Capital is complete, it will tread under the ticker LCID instead of CCIV. So that's the reason I suppose it's running up. Just because of the merger news. Nothing crazy with the company yet. So definitely will start to come down. I mean... If you see, as I mentioned in, yet, in the previous video, the last time CCIV had a merger news, it ran up. So similarly, it's just running up on the news. Nothing crazy with it. Tesla, purely sideways. Tesla doing 680 with a minor change on the day. Nothing crazy. However, fam, Neo has been doing amazing. Neo is up again six percent on the day it's at 53 dollars today and look at this amount of volume where the volume is just massive i would say it's just incredible i don't know what are you talking about fam is it showing 400 million who's buying all these shares today i mean i actually got to know something about neo too uh neo price target Citigroup price target for stock in the Chinese electric vehicle, believing things looking up for the third quarter and the second half of 2020. Price target for Neo stock goes to $72 from $58 a share. So yep, they upgraded their price target. Definitely doing good stuff over here. I see why it's running up. There's a lot of volume. I think there's definitely some news on it, which I'm missing on today. 
uh, they have an event coming up on the battery, I suppose. So let's see, let's see what where Neo is up to. Uh, I'm really excited about Neo, honestly. So yep, that is that X Fang moving sideways. That's right, moving sideways. Nothing crazy on the one minute chart. Oh yeah, nothing crazy with that. GM, nothing crazy with GM as usual. Fifty nine dollars sideways. Uh, Bionana Genomics just been consolidating at around the seven dollar range nothing crazy with it sideways as usual coinbase moving sideways on the day as well let's look at some cryptos if you will today before we look at the cryptos let's look at some crypto mining companies uh let's start with hype oh wow i've had this run up anna i see ya what's up with this run up today it's almost 12 it's not almost it's actually a lot it's 12 percent up on the day almost 13 percent actually it's at three dollars and 84 cents similarly side by side bid farm ran up during the same period however riot blockchain and marathon aren't doing as great as that as great as other uh, mining companies that's about it for the stock the market is closed currently yep market is closed nothing crazy the entire day it seems like there's a sector rotation happening currently because the entire day has been just sideways besides hive blockchain and well hive blockchain neo and obviously churchill churchill had this run up today though running crazy and neo as well besides that let's look at some cryptos today to end with where are you at Okay, the crypto market cap currently is at $1.4 trillion, which is 4% down from the last day. All right, where is the money going at? I mean, I suppose it's creating a lot of red today. Bitcoin is currently at 34000 which is 4% down. Binance coin is 2% down as well. Cardano is all right, just around 139 Dogecoin seems to be consolidating as tw at $0.25 cents currently. It's been around the 20 to 25 range for a minute today uh xrp down polka dot polka dot is down too i mean these are just amazing days well i wouldn't say amazing but it's just a great opportunity for you to you know dollar cost averaging it's just crazy how icp is doing comes all the way from 400 dollars to 49 dollars that's that seems like a crash to me like a really bad crash besides icp a lot of them are in a tough uh, period I would say as you all know back to the stock market as it's closed all right what else we got by the way today's the last day of the second quarter zoom out we have a big earnings season coming up for the Q2 it's gonna be huge especially a ton of excitement specifically onto the inflationary perspective what sectors were impacted at most want to see where the inflationary pressure is at currently or might be in the future uh what else we got uh is inflation going away is the market uh resuming to normal any simultaneous uh movements with uh various market sectors and a lot more coming up with the second quarter a ton of exciting things happening in the market currently so besides all that that's it for today um did i miss to cover anything um definitely missed a ton of stuff however that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, and definitely leave a comment if you will. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.